Okay, friends. Well, we are back. I am here in Mazolft, hanging out with Nadia, and <clears throat> we're going to continue to farm this place for dwarven metal. And uh, there's a couple of automatons we're going to have to fight along the way. Not really a huge challenge for us. But we will get them, and maybe a few of the uh, Falmer as well along the way. i to pick up all of these items. All of this Dwarven Metal is going to make for great uh, blacksmithing. Now, down here there's going to be a couple of things. Some automatons we got to fight, so let me see if I can... There's one up there, actually. He's coming our way. Let's get up a little bit. Uh, I can't see him through this steam. Got a hit and missed. How did I missed? Got him. And let's see if he has some dwarven metal for us. No, but I will take that. That's pretty good. Now these little pressure plates are a little bit annoying, but you can, you know, you can run in and try to jump over them, or you push them all and just wait till they come back in. It's not a big deal. Sometimes they push your girl down, that's kind of funny. She just has to get up and walk back around, it's not a big deal. Alright, hey, let's pick up this metal. And I don't know if I've got enough <coughs> um, capacity with Nadia to make it all the way through the end of this without having to make one more stop, but I'm getting close. Take that for sure. And that looks like a Falmer. So, I bet you there's going to be more. They're kind of like cockroaches. When you see one, there are definitely more. What do you want me to carry? <coughs> Excuse me. I'll zip on down here and give her this heavy stuff to carry. These ones at the bottom are definitely the heaviest ones. Let's give her that, 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 and that. And zip up here and give her these struts. Uh, she can carry all that too. All right, she's pretty much maxed out. You lead, I'll follow. Not bad. Finding stuff. Let's go ahead and get that bow back up. <clears throat> there should be some Falmer up here if I remember correctly. Or maybe they're dead. <laughs> I guess technically I was right. There are Falmer up here. They're just dead. Uh, what's back? There we go. Head to the boilery. <clears throat> mm. More automatons. Palmer, where are you? There you go. I had a feeling it wouldn't be long. I caught him on the run. I should tell him to move. Move to a darker area here and see if I can hide. Better? Did I? I didn't kill him. There you are, you rascal. Got him with that one. <clears throat> I kind of suspected him to come get me after I shot him, but he was just like, dude, somebody shot me. I don't know what the heck. I don't know, man. Somebody shot me from somewhere. So this makes a big circle. So we're going to go this way. Loop around. Again, mostly we are looting. That is the purpose of this entire mission, in my opinion. Picking up stuff. All right, let's see what we have here. And I don't want that. 
I will take that as a bar of dwarven metal. Alright, we ultimately want to go that way, but let's go ahead and finish circling about. Pick that and that and that. This is another synod. And a night prowler. Let's get his stuff. Alright. Let's go. Should have some enemies to fight here momentarily. By the way, every now and again, I guess the game designers are like, you know what would be funny? If we help them get their guard down. So we're not going to send anything for like two minutes. And they're going to let their guard down and we're going to swarm, swarm them. You guys cannot freaking compete with this kind of firepower, man. My guy's got pretty awesome bow skills. So in the old D&D world, I would be considered an arcane archer because I'm using magic and archery skills together. It's kind of old school trivia for you there. I'm just going to peek around here. Sometimes there's like hidden things. I like to peek. A little bar of metal there. Let's take that. There's more on the ground. Let's check this side. Oh, there's something on the ground there. Little bits of metal here and there. Gonna pick it up, gonna melt it down, gonna make dwarven bows, gonna sell the dwarven bows, maybe even enchant the dwarven bows. And then get my blacksmithing enchanting skills up. By selling, I get my speech skill up. And while I am busy doing this, I'm gonna get over, oh, over encumbered. All right, does Nadia have anything back. she can drop? I'm just curious. What do you want me to carry? Not really. All right. Do I have anything I can drop? Let's See, get going. Some then. crappy stuff. All right. We are not in a good place. See, I can't move. That's bad. And then if I get attacked, my movement is important to me. So we're gonna drop some stuff. All right. That's not gonna help me enough. I'm going to drop it anyways. I'm not pickaxing anything. Leather boots. Get rid of those. Robes. i got to come up with 11 more pounds of garbage to drop. Or use a potion. <coughs> Let's see. Get rid of that book. Or maybe I can't. Yep, I'm back in the uh, let's use the potion of strength kind of op option. We'll kill these guys. We're going to have to boogie out of here. This one is the easy one, the unarmored guy. Let's kill him in one shot. And we will get the armored guy who's much more difficult. And he snaked away. Little turd. Oh, oh, and now you did. Yep. <clears throat> All right. So, I did just get through using my potion. I'm going to go pick up a whole bunch of stuff and just start dumping it. I got to go that way ultimately. We're going to go that way sooner or later. I don't think there's anything in here. Alright, I'm going to pick up some stuff here. I'm going to use my beast form. I'm going to do the, the werewolf trick so that I can get back to my drop-off point. Now 
master lock. Broken pick. <laughs> That's about right. Oh. Right there. <clears throat> and I'm back to super slow mode. I'm not going to need that bow. All right, I think that we've got, <clears throat> I think we got everything. Everything I want, at least. Let's just do it quick. Nope, there's another one. I definitely want to grab that one. Ooh, there's several more. So as you guys can see, I am way overloaded, like, by a crap ton. And I've dropped all the garbage that I really don't need to be carrying. And there's not a potion that gives me this much strength. So, as you can see, I'd be walking forever. Super slow. Let's not do that. Let's do beast form. Normally, I save before I do that. Hopefully, this works out. Sometimes, there's a glitch, and it just is a mess. But watch how fast I can move. Oh, baby. I'm in werewolf form. I can move super fast. Can you imagine being a bad guy and seeing... A world charging in at you at full speed like this. That would be a moment to uh, piss your pants, I tell you that right now. We're in the boilery. Let's <coughs> go to the regular Mazolf. Zip along at a higher rate of speed in the galloping mode with my incredible stamina. Dang it, I wonder if I got everything out of that chest. Second guessing myself for sure. I'm just going to jump down here and escape the, uh, oh, forgot about those guys. Not going to fight them. You guys might think, dude, why don't you go back and fight them? Well, there's a limited amount of time in werewolf form, and I have to eat somebody to heal, and several of those dropped at the same time. So even if I won, I would just be beat up and I'd be way overburdened and walking in a super slow mode. <coughs> so I left him behind. This is travel mode only. Zooming along, baby, zooming along. We're gonna call this the Werewolf Express. I can really run a long time too on this stamina. Of course, Nadia is left back there walking along in heavy armor, toting the rest of my garbage. That's funny. That's what you get for not being cool enough to be a werewolf. I will say she's pretty handy with a shield. And she's a pretty good trainer, so we're keeping her around for those reasons. And Nadia made it. Yay. Oh, am I going to make it? Uh, close. <laughs> and we'll talk about timing. That was perfect. So we're going to go up here into this empty box and drop our crap. All right. I don't think there's really anything I picked up here. Everything is down here in the dwarven category. One, two, three, four. Get rid of that, that. Get rid of all that. Did not mean to pick up that dwarven lever. Iron ore, large plate. I didn't mean to pick that up either. All right, let's just 
kit. Found Still here. Stuff. Download her as well. What do you want me to carry? Right. Take take it all. Let's get going then. Get rid of the dwarven stuff. Iron ore. Considerably lighter. <clears throat> By the way, if I didn't mention it, I think I mentioned it in another video. But as you increase your stamina, you can carry more stuff. So that's pretty handy, and I've been putting some points into stamina. But now you guys have seen kind of the deal why I do what I've been doing. Alright, we're not going to keep you guys on hold. We're going to save it right here.